Hello everyone. There's a rumor going around that our students don't have very long attention spans. And if the truth be told, that's me as well. Some research suggests about seven seconds is all we've got before we start to wander. And maybe that's accurate. I really like this clip from Up, the movie Up, because I think it describes our students well and maybe some things that we need to look at as we decide how to teach in our classes. My master made me this collar. He is a good and smart master, and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! Yes, we can be really quickly distracted for sure. That's why I really like this statement from one of our manuals. When you prepare to teach, instead of be thinking, what will I do to teach? That's the teacher's perspective. Ask yourself, what will my class members do to learn? How will I help them to discover the gospel for themselves? How will I inspire them to act? And so when we're preparing lessons, we're thinking about what students are gonna do. And maybe we're thinking about how frequently we'll need to change activities or to change our focus in order to keep students going and being active learners, actors, active participants. So I wanna look at our, our lesson, our third one of the week with our, our doctoral mastery context with Matthew 16, and a little bit of 17 as we look at priesthood keys. If we look at this lesson through the lens of what will students do, there's a lot of exciting things. For example, we start out with a, a really good video, but notice we're using the pause. It actually is built into this video, but we're only gonna watch one minute of it. And we're going to, to be thinking about keys. So one minute, and then we're gonna stop the video. And we're gonna ask questions, how does this experience illustrate the importance of keys. So we've changed to a question and we'll have a little discussion there. And then we're gonna change and ask students, can you think of examples from your life where, where you had a key situation? Lost keys, missing keys, locked out, locked in, whatever it is. And, and so we're switching to story mode and that's kind of a fun thing to do. And so we're gonna do that a little bit, but then look how quickly we're switching our attention. We've got a, key, a, a great picture. So you could just show this picture and say, anybody know who it is? What does it look like uh, this person has in their hands? Obviously we've got keys here. Does anybody know why this person, which is Peter, would have keys in their hand? And you may have answers, you may not, but let's then go switch attention. We're going quickly to Matthew 16. This is our doctrinal mastery reference, but we're gonna have them look for, maybe search, maybe mark, but they're diverting their attention to the scriptures looking for answers to questions like this. As they come up with answers and you have a little discussion, we're then gonna to switch to maybe a writing activity, a really quick and easy one. If we identify a principle like this, which with doctoral mastery, this is probably a good idea to do, write it on the board. You could have students write it in their notes on their digital scriptures, teach them how to do a note, click on it and let's write a note. Let's just put this, this principle, this truth, in our scriptures, or they could write it in their journal, but they've gone from looking at a picture, looking at the scriptures, talking about answers, and now they're writing. And so we're doing lots of little things. There then is uh, an opportunity here. We've got a pretty good question to try to explain the difference between priesthood and priesthood keys. This, in my mind, could be a great uh, time to, to have partners. Uh, you're gonna turn to your neighbor and you're gonna have 30 seconds, and in those 30 seconds, you gotta explain the difference between priesthood and priesthood keys. And at the end of 30 seconds, switch. So we're going pretty quick, and, and students don't have a lot of opportunity to squirrel and get diverted. As uh, we then go to a pretty fun activity in a journal, on a piece of paper in your study journal, draw a line to divide the page in half, draw a mountain on the left side and a temple on the right side. So now we're drawing, so this is kind of fun. I, you know that I like these, these ideas of, of give them a time limit because it inspires kind of quick and fun. So we're gonna say, you're gonna have 30 seconds, draw a mountain on the left side of your page. And as soon as 30 seconds is up, you say stop and show somebody your picture. And so you're, you're now looking at somebody's pictures and showing someone. On the right hand of your, your, your page, uh, draw a temple. And you got 30 seconds, mark set, go. And at 30 seconds, you're gonna show somebody and you're just gonna laugh and kind of have fun, but you're constantly doing things. Then they're going to search in their scriptures. And again, we're, we're now in the scriptures and we're reading uh, things and marking things in their scriptures. So we're, we're just, students are busy and they're active learners. 
After that, you're going to talk about what did you learn. So we're now talking and sharing and, and explaining, so a little different activity. Then we've got the last little bit of the video that we started at the beginning of class. Let's look at this and see what we can learn about what Elder Stevenson says is important about priesthood keys. And so you're going to watch the video. And then, of course, you'd ask, what did you learn? And so we're going to talk. At the end of the lesson, uh, there's three questions. I highlighted the two because I, I probably, my preference would be one of these two to say, we're going to take three or four minutes in our journals. Would you pick one of these two questions to write about? Why are you grateful for the Lord's priesthood keys on the earth? Or if someone who was unfamiliar with priesthood keys were to ask you why they are important, how would you respond? You could ask students in advance, who's going who's gonna to raise your hand if you're going to do one? So there's even, I'm raising a hand. That's action. Who, raise your hand if you're going to do two. Go ahead and take four and five minutes. Uh, go ahead and write your response. And then after they've, uh, you, you can do some type of sharing. But I like this lens as we have issues of attention spans. We all do. It's helpful when teachers give students a lot of different things to do. And so look for where there's a change in activity and make sure you're giving students lots of opportunities to change their attention. So what, instead of what will I do to teach, we're asking what will my class members do to learn? How will I help them discover the gospel for themselves? How will I inspire them to act? This is going to be a great lesson. Have a wonderful week.